Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 7th, 2022. Well, yesterday we had a little bit of bearish activity in there, but it just wasn't enough to really change anything. And as I suggested in yesterday's morning prep, we probably shouldn't be surprised to see a little bit of choppiness, and that's kind of what we got yesterday. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. I hope you had a great evening and ready for another wild and crazy day in the market. Um, if you'll forgive me, I'm not feeling all that well this morning, a little bit under the weather. So if you um, hear me, um, uh, my voice is a little bit weak, I apologize. Let's um, take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. So first off, looking at these charts here this morning, you can see that well, doggone it, we're just kind of stuck in a range. We're um, stuck underneath some price resistance. We're stuck underneath the downtrend, but we have a little bit of price support here. And that narrative that continues to be circulated out there that the Fed is going to pivot, well, that continues to inspire those bulls to hold in there. But uh, in my opinion is I don't think the Fed's going to pivot. So um, keep an eye on that. But if we can find that inspiration for the bulls today in that employment situation number, then we would look for those tests of these resistance levels to the upside, bounce back up. And if we could break those, then we may actually have some kind of hope for a, um, a sustainable rally. If those bears find inspiration, the bears find inspiration, and we continue to push down and we start breaking support, then that's where things could run into a little bit of trouble here for the market, and we kind of smash the hopes um, that those bulls have had that the Fed will pivot. So watch that closely today. You know, if we look at an intraday chart, the 15-minute, you can see yesterday, we pressed down, but nothing really major here. We didn't break that support of um, the gap up open the other day. And um, if we take a look at this shorter term area in here, we're just having a little bit of a descending wedge here. So again, nothing major here in the chart going on. Um, but we are at that point where we're going to have to be pretty careful. Um, we could really shift sentiment here really fast to the upside or to the downside. So watch that close. And then if we take a look at our SPY, very much the same thing where we're kind of stuck in it, these ranges, um, stuck underneath the resistance in the chart, the downtrend. Uh, we've got some price support, of course, in here that we're trying to hold. And, you know, I want to point out the possibility. I don't know this to be true, but I uh, point out the possibility with earnings starting, um, earnings season beginning next Thursday, it is entirely possible we could stay stuck in this range all the way through next Thursday and uh, not really gain or, or um, lose any ground here as we wait for those big bank earnings to begin. So kind of keep an eye on that. Um, um, SPY also just um, uh, kind of stuck here. We didn't have really good volume yesterday. As a matter of fact, the volume that came in um, was right at the end of the day. Here again, if I go to the 15-minute chart, see that spike in volume that even brought us up here to the moving average. So we've been weakening up in, in our volume as we're waiting, and that gives me that that um, question whether or not we're just going to be choppy range bound until we start earnings. Then if we look at our QQQ, um, you know, same story, um, stuck in a range. Now, QQQ tried to get going yesterday morning, um, but unfortunately it quickly faded and pulling back, leaving a bit of a shooting star pattern there on that chart, which suggests a little bit more downside. But we'll see if the numbers today happen to give that, that some inspiration. Um, clearly, we're still underneath the downtrend here in the chart, and really not much here has changed. If we take a look at the Russell, now here is 
um, uh, the only index that didn't make a new low so far this year and um, it is holding up better than the other indexes notice we're pressing up here towards some price resistance we haven't been able to break that downtrend yet but we do have a little bit more room in here for some chop or some moving around here um, to the downside anyway if those bears find inspiration but if the bulls find inspiration notice we're pretty tightly to some resistance in here and if they can find that inspiration they might be able to pop that out and IWM might be one of the better leading indicators here in the market if the bulls are going to take control let's take a look at our VIX here in the market our VIX well a little bit of concern here in that VIX um, fear came back in here and not too surprising with that selling we saw yesterday but it wasn't it wasn't so energetic that um, that I would really count um, this as being a, a super fearful move um, holding on to that support holding on to that trend so we haven't broken this down yet um, in the market we're gonna need some kind of bullish inspiration to make that occur um, so it shouldn't have been um, all that big a surprise holding on to those areas um, yesterday and I gotta tell you um, I don't think the real problem occurs in the market or that there'll be a real problem occur in here here unless we break up through this resistance area in here this is where we go from fear to panic and if we pop up through that area I think we're gonna see a real change in those institutional computers the 401k plan holders the mutual fund holders if that panic sets in that's where we'll see it and that's where we can really get that capitulation event um, in the market but as long as we hold in this range between here and here I don't know that we're going to have a whole lot change and I certainly wouldn't expect um, a capitulation event ahead of the next earnings season we you know there's so much price manipulation in earnings season and um, we could stay um, well who knows who knows what what this earnings season was going to be I kind of suspect it'll, it's going to be a little bit challenged let's take a look at our uh, T2122 now T2122 yesterday pulled back and I described this to the right way options folks yesterday it's kind of like we're straddling a fence and we're just kind of waiting to find out what happens next so as as we're kind of straddling this fence T2122 doesn't really tell us which direction the market is going to go it just tells us where we have opportunity so if the bulls find inspiration then we have that opportunity to pop back to the upside we had enough selling yesterday Today we've opened up quite a point space to the upside so we could push up toward that bearish reversal zone if the bulls or excuse me if the bears find that inspiration then we certainly have that opportunity to push down in here and push down toward that bullish reversal zone if that inspiration comes in on that side and boy who knows what's going to happen there if we um, take a look at our t2108 well t2108 just didn't give us any information really yesterday it continues to remain in this uh, very sharp downtrend continues to remain under resistance um, we just we're just not resolving any problems here 27% um, of the stocks holding above their 40 day it's an improvement of what we've seen recently but not all that stellar yet either so a little bit more like a punt um, we just don't know uh, much on this chart if we take a look at our t2107 t2107 very much the same thing um, we've got the short-term downtrend we've got the long-term downtrend continuing to hold we've got lots of price resistance in the chart so we've still got some uh, questions here on t2107 but at least it didn't make new lows this year so you can hang your head on that and say if you're bullish and say hey um, this is starting to show clues and, and I would have to agree um, of a bull move um, less than 25 percent of the stocks holding above their 200 day is not exactly all that encouraging for that bullish side however then let's take a look at our t2101 t2101 was just confused yesterday with volumes being so light right up until the end of the day and um, you can see we've just been chopping back and forth in here so I don't know that we're really getting good data from that and um, you'll see if I go to a 15 minute chart all of the volume 
um, that brought us up to the moving average came in in the last 10 minutes of the day as the dark pool um, was consolidated to the market. So keep a close eye on that. It's just um, a bit of uncertainty and with earnings coming, um, that just adds to that market uncertainty. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today, if I can uh, find it. Um, give me just a second. Our economic calendar, um, we really don't have a lot on that calendar for today, but what we do have could certainly be market moving. I apologize, I picked up another window. Um, could be market moving. Let's take a look. First off, we have that employment situation number that's going to come out before the bell today. And we're going to have to watch that fairly closely here. It's one of those cases where um, a strong jobs report could be bad for the market. A bad jobs report, a weak jobs report could be good for the market. Um, what we see in the consensus here is they're looking for a little bit of a decline down to 250 uh, payroll jobs created. Um, non-farm payrolls and as you can see um, that's a decline from 315 so keep an eye on that now we saw the ADP on Wednesday come in stronger than expected if we were to get this number coming in stronger than expected I would look for the market to react bearishly to that if it comes in weaker than this number then I would expect the market to react bullishly to that but other things that you need to be paying attention to in here is notice that the consensus is suggesting that our manufacturing payrolls are shrinking that does not bode well for our overall economy and if you'll look right here they're actually Actually expecting average hourly earnings year over year to decline again not the best um, data here for our economy so watch those numbers closely this morning and then after that just a whole bunch more fed speak um, I, I know a lot of folks the narrative out there is that the Fed is going to soon pivot but we have had Fed speakers all week and I haven't heard anything about pivot. I don't know if you have. Um, uh, they have stuck to their guns and I think they're going to stick to their guns on uh, rate increases. So keep a close eye on that. If one of them does pivot, that would certainly be reason for the market to turn a bit bullish. So watch closely for that. Let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar, very, very light today. Only two confirmed earnings reports. We've got um, a cannabis stock, TLRY, reporting this morning. A little bit of a pop and drop here in the pre-market on that. Um, but I believe that has already reported. Now everyone's probably wondering why we got this big spike up here. Well, the big spike was um, yesterday the president pardoned all kinds of cannabis users, uh, thousands of them. Um, and so we got a spike in cannabis yesterday um, on that news. Seems kind of silly to me to risk like that heading into an earnings report, but there is still so much wild speculation in this market. Um, and that's creating these um, very wild volatile moves here. So watch that close. And the only other one um, in here, really not that notable, um, MTRX, um, whoops. MTRX will be reporting today, so keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please also do me that favor, click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. I do read all of those comments and I try to answer all of them. I don't get them all answered, but I try to answer all of them. And um, usually every single every single morning I go through all of those and try to answer those. So thank you everyone. I do truly appreciate it. Um, and thank you so much as the channel continues to grow. You guys are truly awesome. Let's um, take a quick peek at some stocks that could be setting up, but please keep in mind, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. And as a matter of fact, you're going to have to do your own due diligence, making very, very careful uh, consideration.
considerations about the risk of this market, you have to keep in mind that we have been whipsawing um, huge point moves here in this market. So we can be we can be um, very very bullish. Um, at one part of the morning and then completely flip bearish and vice versa. So make sure that you're planning your trades very carefully. You understand the risk of these trades and you should never ever blindly follow someone else's trade ideas um, unless it fits perfectly with your risk tolerance and your um, rules for trading. So keep a close eye on that. Now let's take a look at a few stocks here that I do kind of like and I do think um, are showing some signs of improvement. Take a look at some of um, the um, miners out there. Big change here in the miners um, pushing up through downtrends and holding that higher low right in here and following through yesterday to the upside. Now, one of the reasons that's occurring um, is a little bit confusing <laughs> because what we're seeing, uh, we saw yesterday is we saw the dollar getting stronger. Now, typically when the dollar gets stronger, gold, silver, commodities weaken. That wasn't the case yesterday. Kind of an interesting thing starting to happen here. Our dollar is strengthening and so are gold. So is silver. We're seeing copper strengthen. We're seeing commodity prices strengthen. Food and um, ag related stocks um, strengthening. So I'm not sure what is actually going on here, but we do want to pay attention if this continues. Now, this is an inflationary problem for the Fed. If we start to see food prices and oil prices um, continue to move up, I'm going to go to XLE here. If we continue to see them move up the way they are, that's going to be an inflationary problem here for the Fed. And about the only thing they can do is crush demand to halt those because if the dollar is strengthening and these are still going up, um, that is problematic. So having said that, let's take a look in here. If you look at some of these oil sector stocks, whoops, didn't mean to click that button. Let's click that button and go back to the daily. Um, if we look at some of these oil sector stocks, notice stocks like MRO breaking out here of recent um, lows, or excuse me, recent highs. Um, rest or pullback sets up an opportunity in um, MRO. Take a look at stocks like Devon. Devon's pushing up here, trying to make that break through resistance. We got MPC breaking out to the upside. Lots of oil sector stocks showing tremendous strength. So keep an eye on these. If they rest or pull back, that sets up the opportunity for that next upside move here um, in oil and gas. And there would be a reason for that with OPEC cutting production. And what we've seen in, in our um, in, um, petroleum status numbers is our supplies are declining and adding more and more pressure to that oil and gas situation here. Um, so watch that carefully. Um, then once again, I think we should start keeping an eye on gold. This is a nice little pattern. If I go to a moving average here, you'll see that we're stuck right underneath that 50 day moving average and the longer term trend has not really broken confidently yet. But if we can hold in this pattern right in here, this nice little consolidating move and we can hold above support and then find that inspiration here to pop through that 50 day, well, um, things may be changing here on the precious metal side. So keep a close eye on that. And silver as well, um, pretty interesting how strong silver has responded here this week. Now, once again, keep the, everything in context. We've broken this short term downtrend in the chart, but if we take a look at the longer term, we still have a lot of work here to do to break through some of that longer term downtrend. And we do want to keep in mind both of these charts, silver and gold, have lots and lots of um, overhead resistance to deal with as well. But watch that closely. If this does hold in that higher pattern in here and we see um, anything 
um, uh, of the dollar starting to weaken, I would suspect these will rally pretty substantially. Right now, the dollar is starting to show that strength again, so watch those close. Other places um, that are relatively interesting, we have seen um, some moves here in Netflix that I think we want to pay attention to here. Um, it continues to challenge that price resistance level in the chart with rising lows. And we, we're not pressing down, we're not breaking this down. Um, so we're trying to make a decision here on Netflix whether we want to go up or down. Um, I would watch that closely. If we pop through that resistance and there is that opportunity, this could fill this gap over here. Now usually it won't fill it in a straight up move. We'll, we'll pop through, we might rest and then push on higher, but watch that closely here. Netflix is showing some of those signs. Take a look at um, uh, First Solar. I mentioned First Solar the other day. It finally made that move popping out of this resistance area and well, it just came right back. Came right back to test it as support, but we haven't broken down. So if we can hold this price support in here, uh, then once again, watch for that First Solar to maybe make that move with all that money from the government flowing into those stocks and again i think you've got to look at some of the mining and mining etfs take a look at the junior miners here pushing up into resistance notice that we're trying to break this short-term downtrend trying to hold some support levels in here and once again we're struggling right around that 50-day moving average but you can see in the uh, gdx we're actually above that 50-day moving average which creates that round and bottom breakout pattern that we talk about in um, hit run candlesticks and right way options so watch that carefully if this starts to hold in here then i would look for gdx to start moving to the upside so keep a close eye on those charts so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day and more importantly i want to wish you a wonderful wonderful weekend be safe out there don't be surprised if we see a little bit of choppiness in the market and also don't be surprised if we see some big potential moves up or down and even whipsaws as we wait on the beginning of fourth quarter earnings so everyone take care and i'll see you right back here bright and early monday morning wish you all the best and thank you so much for putting up for my with my weak voice today